Several drive arrangements are used on mechanical presses to transform the rotary motion of the drive motor through the crankshaft to the reciprocating motion of the slide. These arrangements include direct drive, single gear reduction, and double gear reduction presses. In non-geared or direct drive presses, the flywheel is mounted to the end of the crankshaft and driven by belts from the motor. Higher operating speeds are possible with this arrangement than with geared type drives. Other advantages of this simple design include fewer moving parts to wear out and less frictional loss of mechanical energy. Certain factors limit application of the direct drive, however. The full rated force of the machine is only available very close to the bottom of the stroke and the ability to deliver rated forces is substantially reduced if the press operates at less than full speed. In single gear reduction presses, the flywheel is mounted on the back shaft and power is transmitted through a pinion to a main gear mounted on the crankshaft. A problem occurs with single end drive presses, however. Angular misalignment proportional to the torque transmitted through a crankshaft with two throws causes the side of the ram nearest the driven end of the crankshaft to reach bottom dead center before the other side. This results in a ram tipping alignment error. Angular misalignment of the crankshaft is avoided when the crankshaft is driven equally on both ends. This provides more accurate alignment under load than with single end drive systems. Additionally, this angular misalignment is not an issue on eccentric gear presses, in which an eccentric is fastened to the main gears, thereby eliminating the use of a crankshaft altogether. Double gear reduction presses have two gear reductions from the flywheel to the crankshaft. These machines normally achieve a speed range from 8 to 20 strokes per minute and are used for difficult applications such as heavy deep drawing, cold forging, and flanging of large parts. <laughs>